What led to my experience of homelessness is my family, I have a mental health issue. And a lot of my family members suffer from mental health. So when I'm not on my medication and um, not going to my doctor's visits, I tend not to pay my bills, not to take my medication. I get off track, I end up homeless. Can't go to my family because the majority of them, about 80% of them, same thing. So that was one of the big issues that led me to being homeless. I have been homeless or was homeless off and on for 10 years. It was really hard. One, I'm a female and being a female and being out there homeless is scary. I literally had to sleep in the daytime, couldn't sleep at night. A lot of people around me were getting raped or robbed. It was just really hard, you know, not having nowhere to take a shower. You know, and having to go to McDonald's and shower in the bathroom and they see you coming and they shut the door. So some of those things are really hard, especially on a female. You know what? I felt, I didn't feel like a normal person. I felt less. Sure. You know, I would see like families going to grocery stores and I would literally sit there and cry and wonder why can I be normal like that and be able to go into a grocery store or have a place to take a shower, a hot shower. You know, so I'd sit at bus stops and I'd literally cry. It was devastating, devastating. And I really didn't know how to work my way out of it, but I, it was hard every single day and every, it did not get easy at all, not even for a day, you know, and it was terrible. The days that it rained, I had to have like a board so the water wouldn't get in. And then the water still got in, so the rainy days were the worst. And then I, I can't exclude hot days. There's no shade. You know, everybody's in the library, so you have to find somewhere to go. When I was homeless, I went like, I went to a whole lot of agencies, but I didn't stick with it. I, I truly didn't stick with it. And someone told me about Pathways of Hope. And they said, Penny, you really need to go to Pathways of Hope, check it out, right? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I did, and boy, did it change my life. I, I called you guys up and I asked you for your help. And a couple of days later, you called me back. I found a unit. And I didn't have any money to pay for the unit, being homeless, not working, I didn't have that. And I called and your worker called me back and asked me if she could meet with me. I met with her, signed my papers, Pathways of Hope came, paid the deposit, I got my keys that day. That was three years ago and it has changed my life dramatically. I mean, I've come back to Pathways of Hope for a couple of other things too and you guys have been there for me all the time, the food pantry that you have, the clothes that you give, the support, the groups, the classes that I attend that you guys give at the Fullerton College. All of those things helped me to build a foundation. You know, when you got me the house, you paid for the house, I was able to take a shower. I was able to have someone to put my medication so I could take my medication on time. I was able to start getting into classes, into groups. Just having that roof over my head made a huge difference. You know, now my family's able to come and visit me and, and, and I get visitations with my kids. It's just, my life has dramatically changed and Pathways of Hope was like the biggest thing that happened when they came and paid that someone cared and you guys were there. And I'm still in that apartment and you know, and I'm growing and I love it. And without Pathways of Hope paying my deposit, I would have still been in the street. And it's a blessing. I can't tell you how it's changed my life dramatically. And it's necessary, I mean, from being under a tree or on a park bench to having some place to take a shower and to cook, it's, it's like night and day, you know. I feel like I'm a person now. I have my dignity back. Um, I, I, when I see other people, I don't feel like I'm less, a lesser, less, lesser than them. I mean, I feel just as equal as anyone else. I feel like a human being. I, I, I don't, my self-esteem has come back, you know. I'm proud. Just, I, 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 I can't even, I don't even really have enough words to say how grateful I am. It has changed my life. I do the same thing. I try to give back what was so freely given to me. So um, I go out and I tell people about foundations and what they can do and how it changed my life. And um, I'm involved in my church and I'm on a couple of boards. 
you know, I take classes at the wellness center. Um, I get to visit my grandkids now. Um, my, all my kids are back in my life. They're involved with me. And I go out, I do a lot of community service. I do a lot of community service to give back, you know, to make a difference, to show that it works. Mm -hmm. Just having a roof over your head makes a huge, huge difference. You're not stressed out, you're not worried anymore, you know. So I wake up, I'm grateful for another day. I'm grateful that I get to go into my own kitchen and cook my food. So those things just helped me and inspired me and empowered me to do more things in the community for other people because it does work. At the Wellness Center, I started taking classes, um, living skills, um, breaking barriers, they also asked me to join their board, so um, I've been on their board for two years, secretary. I recently got voted in as vice president, so I finished my term, the two years of secretary, and there's just wonderful classes. They have cooking classes and classes to get to know about yourself and classes of how to socialize with people. That, just going to those classes on a daily basis, helped me to learn about myself and helped me to learn that I'm not a lost cause, that I am a human being, that people do care about me and that I can care about other people. So those classes at the Wellness Center and being on the board and them teaching me how to do the minutes, teaching me how to do the agenda and going to speaker meetings, all those things just boosted my self-esteem and helped me stay grounded. I love it, I love it, I love it. I would tell people that are still homeless that there's still hope, you know, there's still foundations out there that care, you know, and that are there for them. And just to reach out because we're here, you know, just reach out and we'll come alongside you, you know, and guide you and give you your confidence and your hope and empower you and back, you know, and no matter how hard people think it is, and it is hard, it is, it's not easy, but there are people that are there for you to walk you and guide you through it. It's hard to trust when you're out there, but when you do and, and, and you get like Pathways of Hope to come along and say, hey, we're here for you and we can help place you and things like that, it just, it's so awesome. So I would tell them not to give up and to continue to reach out. People put stigma on on a, they stigmatize people with mental health issues. We're just normal people. We're normal people that we need just a little more guidance than other people, you know. But if we're on our medication and we have our care coordinators, a place to live, you know, some stability, we're fine, you know. There's nothing to be scared of, you know. We're normal people. I live a normal I, I do normal activities. I cook, I clean, volunteer in the community. I go out with my, my grandkids and my kids and, you know, we're normal. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know, the only thing to be afraid of is not knowing, you know. So my advice would just think of us as, like if you have cancer, that's not your fault if you have cancer. You know, it's not my fault I have a mental, a mental issue. I just have to know how to deal with it, take my medication, get with my care coordinator. But I'm just as normal as anyone else. If I was walking down the street right now, you would not say, hey, that girl has a mental issue. You would not know. So we're just normal people. Yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to really, truly say thank you to Pathways of Hope for being a part of the change in my life to feeling, to feeling, to feeling that I'm a normal person. And, and the roof over my head, and my family coming back. I have like 80% of my family back, you know. And all my kids call me, hi mom, how you doing? And mom, you wanna go to Chuck E. Cheese? And I get to take my nephews. I'm on the, I'm on the emergency list to go pick up my nephews at school. I remember there was a time I could not do that, you know. So I'm just so grateful for the chance that you guys gave me. Truly grateful. I can't thank you enough for the change it's made in my life and it hasn't only affected me, my family and people that are close by me and people that I help. So I just wanna say thank you. It really, truly made a huge difference.